Hello. This is a video about assignment four, which is your second CSS assignment. So you're going to um, fork and clone a repo, and you're going to get an index.html file that when you first open it up in the browser, it looks like this. Now, yours is about the big cats instead of sea mammals. In other words, it's got different text, different photos, but the design, the styles that it comes with uh, will look like this. So your job is to transform this page using only CSS into a page that looks like this one. After that, you'll transform it once again with a new separate CSS file to look like this one. Let's take a look at some of the aspects of the styles on this page that I want to make sure you achieve on your own page. So this is what I'll refer to throughout the assignment as the first sea mammals example. This page has all the content centered down the middle of the page, and that is done with the flex property in CSS. So flex is done to make sure that everything on the page stays centered no matter how narrow the browser gets. So this page would just about work well on a phone. Uh, you'd probably make a few changes, especially to the header, but this kind of centering can be achieved with flex. And let's go over a few of the details. So you want to have space above the image in each case. So for the dolphins, for the whales, for the manatee, right? So you will have three big cats, a lion, a tiger, and a cougar. Same thing. There's also space below the section that has the main text in it. There is a footer at the bottom. The background of the footer has the same background color as the header. The header has been transformed using the flex property in CSS, and each of these links will go to the place on the page where that particular article begins. That's because we've used an ID on each of the articles. So your header will look like this one. It will work like this one. Um, it does not have a different focus style or a different visited style. It has only the main A pseudo class and it has the A hover class. So you can see the link changes when I roll over it. The links don't have an underline. The text has been transformed to all uppercase. You're not going to change the index.html page for any of this assignment. The index.html page will not be touched. You have to do all of this with CSS. You'll also notice that there's a nice space below the caption and above the white box. You'll notice that the H2 is centered for each animal. You'll notice that the padding on the sides and the top and the bottom of the white box is quite generous and nice. Not too big, not too small. You'll notice that the white box is exactly the same width as the image in all three cases. And you'll notice that the links inside the white boxes and the links inside the captions um, may act differently from the links in the header. Uh, you'll also notice one last thing. If the background color is too dark for black text on that color to be easily readable, to have good contrast, then you are going to have to change some text color to make the text legible, to give good contrast. And I think I've covered all the highlights of the first example. And again, let me just repeat that 
your page absolutely has to keep the content centered when you do this with the browser window. That is an absolute requirement. Oh, and one other thing. None of the text in the white box is centered. It is the default, which is text align left. You don't have to write that in your CSS because it's the default. The H2 is centered, but the text is not. And that's the same in every single one of these text sections that have the white background. Okay, so let's move on to example two. This is referred to in the assignment as the uh, sea mammals example two. So again, using only CSS in a new CSS file, you'll take the CSS that you wrote for the other page and you will change it so that the page does this, what you're seeing here, instead. So the header does not change at all. Once you've done that for example one, you're fine. The footer doesn't change at all. Once that works, you're fine. But the two sections, which one section includes a photo and a caption, the other section includes an H2 and all the text about the animal. The two sections have to go side by side. And this is also done with the flex CSS properties. So you're going to have to read up on which flex properties do these things and also refer to the other videos. Oh, you'll also see that once we've taken the white background off the text section, we also need to make sure that the text is legible and readable, just like we did with the caption in the previous example, the first example. But if the black text or dark gray text shows up and looks fine on the background color, once you've taken the white box off, just leave it, that's okay. Uh, again, make sure that you've got nice margins or padding, whichever one is correct, between the text and the photo, on the left and the right side, on the top, and on the bottom. Make sure that you've got the spacing so that it looks professional and your alignment is consistent in every article and every section. So part of your problem is to figure out how to do that. And like the other page, this page will also react well to different browser sizes, widths. Um, it won't do well if you get too small. Like if we go down to phone size, it does not look good. We're going to learn how to account for that in our next assignment, not this week. But you need to make sure that the flex properties and values that you give in your CSS allow the page to do this and that it works the way you see it working here. That's why you've got a video to guide you in doing your assignment. So come back to this video as needed to check and compare your own work to make sure you're fulfilling the requirements of assignment four for the class. Good luck.